Good evening and welcome back to some more Celebrity Tragedy with me, Tanya Hardacre. First, we take a fresh look at the case that's only recently rocked the tabloids. The case of Eurydice Wentworth and Bad Boy of Rap, Orpheus. Eurydice Felicity Wentworth was a wealthy socialite and regular in the gossip columns. Her late father, the businessman Harold Wentworth, had left her a million heiress and heir to the Wentworth Foundation and everything seemed set for her to join the echelons of the upper elite. That is until true love struck in the form of one Jerome Ethan Coulson, a.k.a. gangster rapper Orpheus. Jerome Coulson, now known as the megastar Orpheus, grew up on the tough back streets. An early talent for music and songwriting spared him a life of petty crime when he found overnight success as a member of the boy band, the Argonauts. However, it was splitting from the group that sent his career into the stratosphere when he reinvented himself as the self-proclaimed bad boy of rap, Orpheus. Welcome back, and here today we have our pop sensation, Orpheus! <laughs> Your music is doing very well. What would you say about it? Well, like, you know, music is music. Like, you know, I make music because, you know, I've got all these melodies in my head, right? Sometimes up to 12 at any one time. And uh, to me, like, you know, anybody who listens to one film of music, you know, I feel sorry for him. I listen to all sorts of music, you know, hip hop, grime, hip hop, all that kind of thing. You know, all the stuff that, like, students and smackheads are into. It was at a social event that Jerome would meet the woman who would change his life. It was here that he met and fell in love with Eurydice. So, um, what would Daddy think to this? <laughs> Screw Daddy. He hated musicians. I have no idea why. <laughs> Orpheus is a great guy. I'm dating him to be, re you know, rebellious. And he's cool and he's fresh. And besides, he gives me 12 instruments a night. Oh, he could just tell. I mean... You could just tell that they were so much in love. For her it was the real thing. We weren't so sure about Jerome at first, but when you saw them together, oh my God, you could just tell that it was genuine love. We all knew it was the drugs. I mean, he was on drugs and we know that he got her involved. The creepy stuff he used to say to her. He was saying how he could make her hair into an instrument. I mean, ew, come on, that's creepy. Hi, I'm Cindy. And I'm Sandy. And welcome to Pop Shots People. Brace yourself, girls, because we got some hot celebrity gossip for you. Hot socialite Eurydice and bad boy Orpheus are set to tie the knot. It's official, girls. The couple made the announcement the other day. Or oh, Eurydice did. Via her Twitter account. Rich babe, Eurydice tweeted, he wrapped a guitar string around my finger at the beach and I think he's serious. All my girlfriends better go hot shopping. Rumor has it the couple will make it official at the weekend. Meanwhile, they're in town to party at the new Pit of Vipers Club. That's all for now, folks. It is obvious that Orpheus has some unresolved issues. His obsession with music clearly shows that he has a borderline narcissistic personality disorder. Many artists become completely consumed by their art, and his unpredictable behavior clearly indicates this. Wealth, beauty, and fame, they had it all. With the launch of Orpheus's own record label, Iliad Records, they looked unstoppable, and with the announcement of their engagement, they were set to be the couple of the decade. That is, until one fateful night in a small flat above the notorious pit of Vipers nightclub, a night that would end in tragedy. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my sad duty to confirm that the body of Eurydice Felicity Wentworth was discovered this morning at approximately 9.15am. I can confirm that we have detained Mrs Wentworth's fiancé to assist us with further inquiries. I am not at liberty to make any more comments, but I will add that the possibility of foul play has not been ruled out. Thank you. Orpheus was later cleared of all involvement at a subsequent trial. But what did happen in that room? Numerous theories abound and can be speculated on. Why did Eurydice meet her end at such a young age? 
One theory, backed up by testimony from the personal assistant, is that they argued over the father's letter, drug fueled and out of control, Orpheus attacked her before blacking out, his mind unable to recall the horror of his actions. Another has Eurydice overdosing herself by accident or on purpose whilst intoxicated, collapsed in the shower. Whilst her unconscious lover slept drunkenly through the whole thing, only to awake and discover the horror. And what about the rumours of a strange and interesting man seen talking to Eurydice at the Pit of Vipers and leaving the venue not minutes prior to the incident? We asked Detective Inspector Burnside about the interesting man theory. But I would like to say that I regard the so-called interesting man theory as the work of internet weirdos and fantasists. Interesting man conspiracy theory is rather like Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster. It's simply the work of delusional minds. With his love gone, Orpheus turned his attention to his real true love, music. Orpheus did indeed turn tragedy into triumph and tears into hard cash, as inspired creatively by the loss of Eurydice, his album Never Look Back went triple platinum. Who could forget his moving interview broadcast not months after his acquittal? I'm sorry to ask this, I mean, we're all wanting to know about your wife's death recently. I mean, how are you holding up here? Well, we're all. Do you know what it's like? It's like wake up in the morning. I want to see somebody and they're not there, right? And you miss them and stuff. It makes me feel that I go to the gates of hell for you, you really see. Gates of hell, love. Alright. I'm sorry, I can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And after the break, we'll be talking to Cheryl Cole! Coming up on Celebrity Tragedy, Orpheus braves the underworld only to get a cold shoulder. Plus, we look at the sensational sex abuse scandal that would later ruin his career, only on Celebrity Tragedy.